y'all it's your girl skyly j and i am back with another for your mother okay and excuse the attitude today because i got my fro so you know i'm feeling real foxy hey! but anywho if you are a new subscriber omg speaking of new subscribers i'm at 500 subscribers yeah, like yeah. Thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all so much for subscribing to this channel. Okay, it has taken me like six years to get to 500 subscribers. So, I'm forever grateful, okay? I'm forever grateful. Thank you so, so much if you are new here. If you are returning, what is up, homegirl? You know what it is, all right? So, over here, we all about leveling up mentally, spiritually, and physically, and getting our lives together okay so anywho let's get into today's video so today's video you know I just wanted to come to be the one to tell you that God is doing a new thing okay God is doing a new thing in your life so whatever used to be ain't what it is no more and whatever is going to be is starting to unfold and starting to happen okay and i wanted to talk about this because you know if any of you all are like me okay i get to reminiscing about stuff okay i get to reminiscing and start thinking about like dang if i would have did this and this would have happened and if i would have did this way and if i wouldn't have listened to this person or if i wouldn't have let that stop me from doing something then i could have been here when in reality the truth is you are exactly where you're supposed to be okay stop the woulda coulda shouldas cut out the woulda coulda shouldas okay because if that was supposed to happen then it will happen or it would have happened okay no need to dwell and reminisce in the past and you know want to go back or want to try something again that you're done with that's that that god is done with okay because god is doing a new thing i do this all the time like i'll get to thinking about you know y'all know i'm always talking about love and stuff because you know i'm a hopeless romantic but i started to get to thinking about you know a relationship i used to have with somebody and i'll be like dang like you know if i had the mindset that i have now or if i had you know really not listen to this person or that person or if i would have just you know acted this way then i probably would be married by now and i would be doing this but fact of the matter is is that that didn't work out because it wasn't supposed to work out it served its purpose for what it did in my life and now god is doing a new thing he has me going to new places that i probably would not have being able to go or be able to go if I was still in said relationship, if I was still with said person, you know what I'm saying? So you have to completely accept what is happening now and completely be confident in the fact that God is doing a new thing and whatever he stopped doing in the past, it was for a reason and it can't go to you to this new place that he is taking you, okay? And also i know it might feel you know like god is doing a new thing like my life is in shambles right now like my life just seems at a dead end at a standstill right now how is he doing a new thing but the thing about it is that think about when something new is about to start okay for instance when a construction company is about to build a new neighborhood full of houses okay when they're about to build a new neighborhood or build a new apartment complex beforehand on that land that that apartment complex was on was nothing but trees okay nothing but trees okay so think of the fact that those trees have to get torn down 
you know the land has to get plowed you know has to get new dirt placed on the ground smooth out the ground and whatever else and then they start building the foundation then they go on from there until it's complete and it's a whole apartment complex but before that all you remember was the fact that there were trees there they had to knock them down it looked a mess it looked dirty it looked like a, a landfill and now it's a beautiful establishment right think of what's going on in your life right now as those trees being knocked and torn down because god is doing a new thing do not focus on what is going wrong focus on what's about to go right okay because the thing about it is life is all about cycles okay life is nothing but a cycle everything in life revolves around a cycle okay think of the food chain that's a cycle think of how people are born that's a cycle okay everything in life revolves around cycles wash rinse repeat okay so if something is being broken down torn apart if something is coming to an end then something has to be coming to a beginning so don't lose sight okay don't lose sight don't feel like your world is crumbling down and the world is coming to an end and this is it for you because as long as you're breathing it will never be it for you okay so i just want to say god is doing a new thing okay it's okay to reminisce about what used to be reminisce about the past it's okay to soak that up soak that in and it's okay to feel it because y'all want to be real with y'all one particular relationship that i had i never really mourned the ending of that relationship okay i never really mourned the ending of that relationship because to be honest with you that was really like <laughs> that relationship was a big deal in my life okay and it ended on a bad note but over time you know now it's not as toxic as it used to be but at one point it was just very toxic okay and the toxicity kind of made me hard and kind of made me never really stop to think about how i really felt about that person because i was just really focused on all the bad stuff that happened but you know i was reminiscing you know how we do reminiscing about it and like oh if i would have did this different i would have did that different da, 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 da. it could have been this could have been that and i allowed myself to cry about it and i was crying and i was doing the ugly cry too i was like <sighs> <sighs> doing the ugly cry okay like heavy breathing and everything and after i was done crying about it and you know it, that this that scene in the movie was over with i was like well i'll be done that felt good as i don't know what that felt good to finally cry about it because after all these years i never cried and like really felt that or grieved that relationship until that one moment and it made me realize that i was grieving it because i knew that it was over and it was done with for good okay yeah i was reminiscing about it a little bit thinking like woulda coulda shoulda but after i let it all out and grieved it and mourned over it it made me realize that god is doing a new thing okay we don't got time to go back to that we can't go back to that okay you felt it in this in that moment you let it all out you mourned it you grieved it but you don't grieve things that are still alive okay you grieve things that are dead so by me grieving that experience it's dead to me now i can't go back to it i can't relive it because it's done and god is moving on to doing a new thing in my life he's taking me to places that that situation can't come with me too and it felt so good to just let it out and not feel like I have to go back for redemption. I have to go back to redeem myself in that situation because God is doing a new thing. And I know I said it about a hundred times already, but literally, okay, he's doing a new thing. All right. I say all of that to say, to go back to the point I was making about when God is doing a new thing, it'll feel like your your world is just crashing down everything is falling apart stuff is becoming undone you feel really 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 uncomfortable okay but 
let me tell you, don't lose faith in God. Because a perfect example, a perfect example of this is what is happening with Brittany Griner, okay? In case you don't know who Brittany Griner is, Brittany Griner is a professional American woman's basketball player, okay? So she plays in the WNBA. In the offseason of the WNBA, she plays overseas basketball. So she has been playing for Russia for I don't know how long, okay? And she got caught over in Russia with a vape pen that had THC oil in it. If you don't know what THC oil is, it had that cannabis oil. If you don't don't know what cannabis is, it had that you know that weed up in it, you know, to make it feel a little. So she had the pen over there. She got caught with it, and they wasn't about to give her no little slap on the wrist. She was prosecuted and found guilty, and she was served or she was given a sentence to serve nine years in Russian penal colony. Okay, and if you don't know what a Russian penal colony is, basically she had to be a slave for nine years over there in Russia. Okay, and the Russians was not letting their foot off of her neck. Okay, they was not about to give her no little slap on the wrist. So I could imagine how she was feeling in that moment. I could imagine that she was feeling like her world was over. You know, she hadn't seen her family in like eight, nine months. I, I I I could only imagine how she was feeling. She's probably feeling hopeless, like everything. She probably listen, listen. She was going. I'm sure she was going through it. Okay, and she probably lost all hope. I don't know. I hope she didn't, but she probably was feeling like just helpless. Okay, and it has just been reported today. Make a long story short, she is on her way home, okay? And that is just such a beautiful testimony. And it really touched me because I really felt for her. I really did feel for her. And the fact that she probably was feeling like everything was raining down on her. She had, you know, nothing else to live for. She probably felt helpless and didn't know what to do. And felt like God wasn't there with her. But God was doing a new thing in her life. He was doing a new thing. Okay, by the grace of God, she is on her way home back to her family now. Okay, and I'm I'm pretty sure she didn't learn her lesson. Okay, from what happened before, but whatever happens in her life from here on out is going to be a new thing. And that situation had to happen. She had to sit down, and everything had to fall apart for something new to come together. And who knows what that new thing is, but something big is going to happen in her life resulting from this, you guys, okay? So I say all that to say is that you could be at your lowest point. You could feel like you are going through hell on earth right now. You can feel like your life is just falling apart. You can feel all of these things, but at the end of the day, you have to stay faithful and you have to have your confidence in God to know that he is doing a new thing in your life. And don't start reminiscing about what was going on before, what you had before. It's okay to think about it. It's okay to mourn it. Take that time to think about it and mourn it. But don't you dare turn and look back. Don't you dare turn and look back. Because what happened to that man, Lot's wife? She turned and looked back. She turned to a pillar of salt. So don't go back to what God has taken you from because that could ultimately be your demise. Okay, that could ultimately be the end of your dream. That could ultimately be the end of everything that you're hoping and wishing to God for. and Or not hoping and wishing, hoping and praying to God for. Okay, so I say all this to say that God is doing a new thing. Stop living in woulda, coulda, shoulda land, okay? Because God has something new for you. So if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel, like this video so it can reach more people. And, you know, go ahead and listen to my song. It's called Set You Free, okay? The song is perfect for what I'm talking about right now. And it basically, you know, gives you a little vibe to clear your mind or whatever. So if you haven't already, you can go listen to it on my channel or you can download it off SoundCloud. 
and yeah that's all i got for you guys today and i love y'all and i'll talk to y'all later